What is good, everyone? Welcome back to MDT Live. We are set for episode number four here tonight. We are just out of blackout, and our GM, Eric Bischoff, is here to make a few announcements to start off our show. Oh my God, what is Randy Orton even doing here? He's not even supposed to be in the building. He's supposed to be suspended. Again, just another vicious assault and attack on our general manager, Eric Bischoff. My God, we've got to get a hold of Randy Orton. What the hell is this? He can just insert himself into Money in the Bank qualifying matches? What is this? How is anybody letting this happen? Well, ladies and gentlemen, up next, we'll see RVD in action for a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys, and I wanted to give you a heads up that over at walkoutwear.com, the Epic Moments Hardy Boys are up for pre-order. Go over there and use the promo code MDT. Save 16% as well as free U.S. shipping and get those great figures. But now let's go ahead and get back to the action. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are set for Extreme Rules action. We got all the weapons strolled out all around the ring between RVD and Jack Swagger for this Money in the Bank qualifying match. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not have my brother with me here tonight to commentate 
So I have Face Wife with me. Not only will she be doing the ring announcing, but she will be here with me on commentary at the booth. How are you feeling? Well, Trey, I'm extremely excited to be here, and I cannot wait to get these matches started. Well, Brad, that is great to hear, but we have Jack Swagger making his entrance now. He has a huge opportunity here in this matchup. How do you feel if you're RVD in this matchup? Not only are you trying to earn a Money in the Bank opportunity, but Eric Bischoff puts your Extreme Championship on the line. I know for one thing, that's a lot of pressure to put on a match. If I'm RVD, I'm extremely nervous right now. Maybe RVD can rise to the challenge, but here's the graphic right there. Six available spots in the Money in the Bank coming up at our next pay-per-view. And the Extreme Championship is on the line here in this matchup tonight between Jack Swagger and RVD. And we are off, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Jack Swagger coming right at RVD. My God, he speared him right out of the ring. Oh, my Good God. Jesus Christ, that was a far fall. Referee trying to check on these guys as they fell straight out of the ring. I know they're feeling it already. There's a shot at the Money in the Bank, ladies and gentlemen, reminding you this is a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Oh, my God, Jack Swagger's got that wrench in his hand. And look out, oh. RVD. Oh, oh. Nice, nice right there. Yeah. Oh, what a yeah. kick there to Jack Swagger. Way to retaliate. Oh, nice kick there, and sends Jack Swagger all over that table onto the other side. It seems that RVD's speed is going to be one of his strengths as the 6'7 Jack Swagger. Oh, look out, RVD. Oh, oh nice. He caught him wow. in midair. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Jesus Street. Christ. Onto our Spanish announce team. My God, just crushing. RVD's lucky he didn't go through that table. And Jack Swagger's made his way onto the other side of the ring, and it looks like he's going to make a choice here. He's got the crutch Ooh, in his hand. Crutches. I don't know what he's thinking here. As RVD's trying to make mm. it back up onto his feet here. Struggling. Yeah, just pulling himself up here. And, oh, look out there. Jesus Ooh. Christ, he almost yes. stabbed him with that crutch. Oh, nice oh, drop kick. wow. Jack Swagger stumbles. He still has his feet, but RVD's up on the apron now. Drop kick, and he's landed on the table. Oh my, I don't know what RVD's thinking. You know he's probably thinking high risk. RVD making the climb now. I think we oh know what's going to come next. Oh my, here he goes, RVD. What did he... Oh, oh that my was goodness. impressive. Jesus Christ. Wow, would you listen to the crowd? They love that. Well, I don't think Jack Swagger was loving that as you look at him broken through the table. My God, he's probably broken in half. I don't know how Jack Swagger is going to be able to make it to his feet now as RVD is trying to climb back into the ring. My goodness, we have already seen a lot of extreme action here in this matchup. You are so right. I would be surprised if Jack Swagger got up from that. Well, it looks like he's going to attempt to here as he's using the ring post to make it back to his feet. And it looks like he's going to walk around the ring. RVD nowhere in sight here as he's rounding about. And, oh, what a shot. Oh, man. My God, that tray to the knee. That steel tray there. Where did he even find that? Well, Jack Swagger's knee probably exploded there. He's got a hurt back and a hurt. Oh, my goodness. Ah. A kick there to the knee again. Just blow after blow. That knee and his back has got to be killing him here. RVD throwing him back in the ring. He may be looking for the cover here. As he rolls him back in, he's going to get the cover. Uh Oh, and Swagger has enough strength to power out there. I thought he had him, especially with those back and knee issues. I did not think he was going to kick out there. And Jack Swagger trying to make it back to his feet using the ring ropes. He's probably going to be limping the rest of this matchup. What the hell is Jack Swagger? He's got his flag now. He's going to use the United States of America to choke the life out of RVD. Look oh at this right gosh. here. My God, he's choking him out. RVD's in trouble. RVD could be out cold right here. This man's not even moving. RVD, he's... Oh, my God. He, the referee's going to come out and check on him. This matchup could be over right here. We could have a new extreme champion. Oh, wow, Brad. RVD is alive here. He is still conscious and fighting. Oh, an elbow to the knee there. Oh, wow. He hit Swagger in that hurt knee with that tray, and now... 
Jack Swagger is in a lot of pain, and I guess RVD's trying to gasp for air as he almost fell unconscious and lost his championship title and Money in the Bank opportunity. And Jack Swagger now climbing up on the apron. He's got RVD. Oh, he looks for the kick, and he oh misses. He's got his foot. He's got RVD's foot, but oh, look out. Jesus Christ, what a kick there. Oh, wow. Oh, Jack Swagger. Oh, wow. goodness gracious. He landed on the ladder and through the table. I think Jack Swagger may be unconscious now. Absolutely. From that fall right there, Brad, he probably hit his skull and his spinal cord on that ladder. He is feeling the pain right now. RVD picking up Jack Swagger, the 6'7", 275 now. Throwing him back into the ring here as RVD is looking at the money in the bank briefcase. Brad trying to bring home his opportunity, but he better worry about this matchup. He's got to finish it here. Not only is it about that, but the Extreme Championship is at risk as well. As he slides back into the ring here. Oh, oh what wow. a big boot to RVD. And now Jack Swagger is going to try to freaking stab him in the face with the freaking pole. My God. Oh, it's turning around here. Jesus Christ, he's trying to stab RVD right in the face. What is, what is he trying to kill this man? My God. He took it a little bit too far. Oh, kick to the Nads. He kicked him right in the ball sack. After that kick to the family jewels, Brad, I think that Jack Swagger is probably going to be out here. RVD is going to have an opportunity to make a climb, it seems, as he's making his way to the turnbuckle. I think this matchup oh, could be over. Five-star frog splash from RVD. He lands it. That's got to do it. After that kick to the Nads and that frog splash, it's got to be over. And he did it, Brad. He beat Jack Swagger, kept his Extreme Championship, and now he's going to have an opportunity at the Money in the Bank briefcase at our next pay-per-view. Wow, what a finish. What a great match. He did it indeed, Brad. There may have been a lot on that match, but he was able to retain. What a victory. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys, and I want to give a shout-out to our Instagram page. If you will, go ahead and go over there and follow it at My Damn Toys. We post an exclusive custom Finn Balor every single month, so go check those out. We post a lot of great photos, but let's get back to the action. Well, it looks like someone has attacked Shelton Benjamin again. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler! Whoever is attacking Shelton Benjamin is an absolute coward. As we prepare for this Money in the Bank matchup, ladies and gentlemen, Dolph Ziggler will battle uh, apparently a mystery opponent here. As we show you here, RVD already earned the first spot here earlier tonight. 
But now Dolph Ziggler will take on whoever Edge was talking to here um, in this matchup to see who the second spot will go to. This is Dolph Ziggler's first singles match. We have not seen him since the United States Battle Royal in episode one. You are correct. Uh, he was eliminated by Dean Ambrose, who would eventually go on to win the United States Championship. It's going to be interesting to see who Edge sends out here. There's no way that who I think is about to make their way down to the ring is about to make their way down to the ring. Are you kidding me? The Ryback making his debut here on MDT Live. What is this? Oh, look out, Dolph. Oh, my goodness. Attack from behind by the Ryback. I'm still trying to just fathom that the Ryback has made his appearance here on MDT Live as he is choking the life out of Dolph to get him back on the feet. Oh, my goodness. What a shot there. And, oh, my God, he spears him into the corner here as oh, Ryback. Wow. Ryback using his freaking freakish strength there. Throws him across oh. the ring. My God, Jesus. Ryback is just destroying Dolph Ziggler right now. Man, I think Dolph Ziggler is really in for a long one here. Absolutely, as Ryback picks him back up onto his feet here. He is going to scoop the man up. My God, look how easy it is wow. for Ryback. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, that was a far drop for Dolph Ziggler. And the Ryback is making his presence known here in his debut. Oh, it looks like Dolph Ziggler going for the roll up here. He can, he can upset victory right here. Oh, and a quick kick out there by the Ryback as they are making their way back onto their feet here. It's, oh my oh, goodness, wow. super kick to Ryback and it doesn't even phase the Ryback, look at him. Oh, look at the DDT coming from Dolph Ziggler, he gets way high up. Jesus Christ, just punting the freaking bald head of the Ryback into the freaking canvas. The Ryback finally making it to his feet now in the corner. It looks like Dolph Ziggler is going to set up here, and he's looking for the, sp the Stinger Splash. Nice. Oh, it looks like he's going to go for the neck breaker now. Very nice move there by Dolph Ziggler. You know he's got to get something going here against the Ryback because the Ryback never goes down easily. Look at Dolph Ziggler trying to figure out what he can do to get this matchup in his favor. As Ryback make it back to his feet here in the corner. Zoff Ziggler, oh man, looking for the splash there, but he came up short and now, oh my goodness, German suplex coming for oh, Ziggler. Jesus gracious. Christ, just landing right on his neck there. His neck could be broken. And look at the Ryback, just intimidating specimen of a man. He is massive. Jesus. Always has his singlet all nice and airbrushed up. He's, he's looking good here in his debut so far. As the Ryback has grabbed Dolph Ziggler's foot now. And Dolph Ziggler balancing on one foot. Looking for the Enziguri. Nice. Is. Very nice there. Kicks him in the face here. As Dolph Ziggler trying to build up a little bit momentum. And Ziggler chilling on the ropes here. As Ryback looks very pissed off now. As he's making his way back to Ziggler. Ziggler getting... Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice super kick again there as he's falling out. And this may be it. Ziggler may have the pin here. I knew that wouldn't put away the Ryback right there. The Ryback is just too strong for Dolph Ziggler. You're exactly right. He's going to have to be extremely innovative to win this match. Dolph Ziggler picking up the Ryback right now, trying to throw him into the corner. He stops it, and now it looks like Ziggler is the one that's going to get his face just nailed off of that turnbuckle. My God. Oh, man, I know that had to hurt. Dolph Ziggler now in pain on the ground, and it looks like Ryback's going to take his own climb here as he may be looking for the big splash right here, and that could do it if he lands it. Oh, here he goes. Goodness gracious, that's it. That's got to do it. Oh, and Ziggler able to power out there. My goodness, I thought the match was over right there for sure. The Ryback coming down like that should crush any just normal man. Oh, look at Ryback. He looks pissed off, Brad. He looks pissed off. It looks like he's going to load Ziggler up here, Brad. This is it. He's loading him up. He's going for the shell shock. Oh, this could be the end. Oh, right, here it goes. Shell shock to Ziggler. 
Oh, what's this? He reversed it. Zigzag. He reversed it into a zigzag. Oh my, my gosh. God. He's going to win the match. My God, he freaking reversed the shell shock into a zigzag. What a move by Dolph Ziggler. He upsets the Ryback. Wow, that was extremely impressive. I was not expecting that at all. And Dolph Ziggler with this upset victory moves himself one step closer to that money in the bank opportunity. What is good everybody, it is Trey from My Damn Toys and I just wanted to go ahead and tell you to hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying the show and hit that bell notification button so that you will never miss an MDT show. But now that we have covered that guys, let's go ahead and get straight into the action. There's no way, Brad. There's no way. It is. It's the man himself. It's John Cena. Well, there you have it. John Cena declaring a championship match versus Edge at Money in the Bank. And I, apparently Edge is going to make his decision on the next episode of MDT Live. What do you think? Well, you know I think he deserves a shot. After all, he is John Cena. Well, we'll have to see what Edge decides on the next episode of MDT Live. But right now we have to turn our focus to our main event tonight, which will feature AJ Styles versus apparently Randy Orton in our final Money in the Bank qualifier of tonight. What is good, everybody? I just wanted to tell you guys that at Money in the Bank, there will be two Money in the Bank ladder matches, one for Vindication and one for MDT Live, as well as two championship matches. But I hope you guys do enjoy the main event of MDT Live. We are back here live at MDT Live on episode number four, set for our main event featuring AJ Styles. We have not seen AJ Styles since that fatal four-way on episode one for the MDT Championship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have filled two spots already here tonight in our Money in the Bank ladder match. For MDT Live, we got Dolph Ziggler, who just earned his spot over the Ryback. And then, of course, RVD earned his opportunity earlier versus Jack Swagger. And now, I guess, since Randy Orton RKO'd Eric Bischoff and declared himself to be in this matchup, he may earn himself a Money in the Bank spot. I know I said John Cena deserves his spot, but I just don't think the same for Randy Orton. After all, he did attack the general manager. Yeah! 
As everyone knows, an MDT blackout, Randy Orton did fall short to the MDT champion edge. He was unable to successfully gain the MDT championship in a hard slugfest match against the MDT champion. Edge looked great in that matchup. Both men battled their hearts out, but Randy Orton was unable to get it done. So here, I guess he just thrusted himself into this opportunity versus AJ Styles. And we are underway here in this matchup as both men tie up in the middle of the ring trying to gain the upper hand. I imagine that this matchup is going to be a pretty good one here. What is Randy Orton doing? Oh, my goodness. He throws him into the referee. He takes out the referee. Look at him already using tactics to try to gain an advantage in this matchup. What is this? AJ Styles trying to check on the official now. As, oh, my God. What the oh hell? Gosh. What the hell is CM Punk doing out here? He's not even in this matchup. Look at Randy Orton. He looks confused. I don't even think he knew CM Punk was going to come out here. As CM Punk climbs on the apron. Now that's bullshit. Get off of there. As AJ Styles finally notices CM Punk on the apron here as he's going to get in his face. He's screaming obscenities in CM Punk's face. And AJ Styles is getting very close now. As, oh, look out. A forearm to the nose is going to knock CM Punk off the apron and onto the floor. And AJ Styles isn't paying attention. Oh, Randy Orton! Oh, Jesus. RKO to freaking AJ Styles and Randy Orton! This is Bush League. This is just Bush League right here. Randy Orton yelling at the official to come over. Look at this. Look at this crap right here. And Randy Orton officially in the money in the bank, Brad. I mean, what do you say? He, he won the match. CM Punk cost AJ Styles, but he, he RKO'd AJ Styles, and now you're going to see here on the screen, he is officially in the Money in the Bank right there. He has joined RBD and Dolph Ziggler in the MDT Live Money in the Bank matchup. It will be interesting to see who the final three participants are in the next episode of MDT Live. But I hope everyone has a great night. We will see you at the next Vindication episode. That will be episode number five. He kicked him right in the ball sack.